Hey, what's up, everyone? Seeing that I can't get gameplay for this game, Avatar, the game, obviously, James Cameron's Avatar, ha, huh? I decided I'm going to make a video review with me in the video, obviously. So, uh, because I returned it, and I was like, wait, oh, sh I need to record gameplay. And I was like, oh, I returned it already to get Rogue Warrior, which I will review soon. But, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what I feel about it, but uh, I guess you can guess that already. If you read reviews, at least. Anyway, this is Avatar the game. Now, let me go right on to story. I'll, I'll do the same thing. Story, sound, gameplay, graphics, controls, balls, dicks, weed, all that stuff. Well, not controls, balls, dicks, or weeds. Uh, we'll probably do story, sound, graphics, gameplay, and overall. Or entertainment, same thing. Anyway, yeah, let's go on with story. Now, I'll just explain it real fast. It's bland. Let's go on to sound. It is bland. It's just pretty much humans versus Navi. You pick a side. There you go. Humans want resources on this planet, but the Navi's like, ugh, this is our planet. It's our resources. Back off. So it's pretty much like, all right, which one do you think is right? Humans, we need resources? I don't know why. doesn't really explain. Uh, but it doesn't explain in the game. It'll probably explain in the movie. But Or you want to be with Navi's who are pretty much the peaceful, kind of peaceful, but then they obviously go and they're savages pretty much. They're Indians, you could say, or Native Americans, or Indians, or... Anyway, yeah, the story's bland. Let's go on to sound. Okay, all right, the sound in this game is uh, pretty bad, I thought, at least. I mean, everything, like explosions, gun sounds, vehicles, they all sounded great. You know, rocks falling, that sounded great. I thought the voice acting was horrible, and I also thought that the voice acting was annoying. Definitely when they were talking to, like, each other, and they would go, like, have hand signs and stuff. They were like, okay, let me do this. It was like, okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. all right, uh, blah, blah, sock puppet, all that stuff. You know, just hand signs when they were talking. You know how you, exp you talk with your hands sometimes, like... All right, I'm going to go there and then do this and then do that. And, you know, I hated that in this game. It's like, it's a game. It ain't freaking real life, all right? They, didn't, they don't need to go like this. Sounds good. Anyway, that's just a minor complaint I guess I had. Sound overall was okay, I guess. Let's go on to graphics. Okay, graphics were really good. Let's go on to gameplay. No, really. Graphics were actually beautiful, I thought. Except there's a couple problems. Sometimes, like, it, the camera would screw up, which is not really a graphics fault. That's gameplay fault. Uh, control, I mean, the con yeah, the camera would, like, sometimes sink under the ground, and you'll see, like, just an ugly mess of pixels, and you're like, ugh. Sometimes you see a little bit of tearing, just a little bit. Sometimes you get stuck on things that you can't even see. I'm like, well, I'm stuck on something. Invisible wall, I don't like that. Or, like, invisible sheet of glass, I don't know. I mean, of course, glass, you can see through it, but I'm like, you can still see a little reflection on there, so, I mean, it really was invisible then. And if it was a sheet of glass, we could have broke right through it. Plate glass, I don't know, fuck it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, graphics are actually really beautiful. The uh, land, the environment, the jungles, everything, the character models actually, I thought, look really good. Obviously not as good as the movie, but <laughs> really good. For a movie game definitely but it actually been in development for two years so it should really look good and it does i would definitely say it does so yeah there you go uh also i gotta say like you have about eight sections in this game of the whole planet and i have to say that's really cool because every every place is a little different they would have maybe one or two different uh things in it like enemies not really enemies maybe uh like different uh like, there's plants in the game where it would, they would hurt you. It would be different kind of plants. It would be different kind of big beasts or something. Uh, it would be different kind of vehicles to ride and stuff like that. So everyone's different. And you also get, like, level ups and stuff. And I'm talking about gameplay now. So let's just go into gameplay. Graphics were good. Okay, now gameplay. Gameplay, it splits it up in three sections. Well, two. You play as the RDA, which is shooting. You play as a... Uh, the Navi, which is a uh, melee and some arrows, and there's multiplayer, which you play as either one, pretty much. 
Now, I hate it in the Navis in this game when I'm playing single player, but I kind of like them better in multiplayer because it makes more sense when you're playing with a whole bunch of people, to be honest. Come on, when you're playing with a whole bunch of your friends or something, as a Navis, you can make up strategies and ambush the other team. It'll be like Predator. It'll be like, where is it? Where are they? And then you just ambush and just like stab them in the neck about 500 times. Like, anyway, <laughs> not, I can't picture a 10-foot giant like a Navi going like, Anyway, anyway, yeah, like, fuck you. Anyway, yeah. So gameplay is basically shooter and melee. Like I said, the Navi only makes sense to me in multiplayer, not in the game, because it's very boring. I mean, in the single player, because it's very boring. But the shooting gameplay in the RDA is actually pretty decent. Uh, it reminded me of Red Faction Gorilla's uh, shooting. Actually, it reminded me a lot because it's a open world uh, setting where you could use some cars and some mechs, and they're shooting. So yeah, and destructible environments, at least most of the <laughs> most of the places. So yeah, you can like hit rocks and mountains, and uh, shit will fall off, boulders will fall off, and stuff. At least when you're flying in a vehicle. Which is cool. So yeah, gameplay is definitely uh, decent, at least. But to be honest, it kind of disappointed me, this game. Because I really was looking forward to it. I was even considering buying it because I thought it was going to be a big game. Anyway, is my face red also? I don't know. I can't tell. I know. It's kind of hot in here. I should take the sweater off. So yeah, I had it on all day. So maybe I should take it off. Anyway, yeah. Gameplay was decent. Multiplayer was okay. Uh, I returned it too fast, so I only played maybe two or three games of multiplayer. So you guys will probably like it better than me anyway, because it's more of a strategy kind of thing. But because mm, you know, playing as a Navi and humans, you also have to think about like, ooh, where they could be, ooh, because you gotta have like camouflage and skills you can unlock in the single player, which is cool. You gotta unlock new guns and stuff, and there's about four of each gun, about 24 guns maybe. Uh, but but they're all upgrades anyway, so. So yeah, upgrades were good. Guns were good. Uh, skills were cool. You could like make yourself invisible, call an air strike. Uh, I don't know, dash, uh, heal yourself, all that stuff. Uh, not much else to explain. I mean, say really, it's good. You can also unlock stuff, scan things, kind of like Metroid Prime. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much else to talk about except to tell you what I thought about it overall. Now, gameplay was decent, like I said. Everything's decent in this game except story. Story's just blah. It's blah. And graphics were great, so I guess not everything's decent. But overall, the game's decent, okay? The game kind of disappointed me, alright? Actually, really disappointed me. I thought I was going to get like an 8.5 game. 8.5, maybe 9. Because I thought it looked really awesome. It barely even reaches maybe a 7. Uh, maybe, well, it's not a 7 in my scoring it would be 3.5 out of 5 but you'll see the final score after I think about it so yeah Avatar it wasn't that great but you know it's a good rental I guess and mu multiplayer ain't that bad so I definitely recommend it if you want to play a multiplayer or single player adventure because the single player at least the RDA I, play, I played the RDA it took me 8 hours to complete if you play as a Navi it might take longer I don't know so it's a good single player thing because you play as both of them and you have multiplayer so it's a good deal still so i would recommend at least buy it. if if you have to buy it buy it when it's like maybe 25 30 bucks which i don't think will take it that long because i don't think it'll sell all that great but i think it'll sell pretty decent during the holiday come on yeah i think it'll sell pretty good so anyway yeah that's my review go check the description for my whole final score for every single thing and uh Bye. Next review, we'll have gameplay. So Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, Rogue Warrior will both have gameplay, by the way. So thank you. Bye.